Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are responding to the latest in a long line of problems. They're painting a protective coat on barriers around storage tanks to stop radioactive water leaking out. Tokyo Electric Power Company workers found water seeping from the barriers at four spots on the weekend. They say resin used to seal concrete seams had degraded at two places. The workers confirmed the leak stopped after they repaired the seals. Water was leaking from concrete cracks at the other locations. The workers suspect cold weather had caused the cracks to widen. The utility plans to apply a protective coating across the surface of about 20 barriers. TEPCO officials say more than three tons of water seeped out in the latest leak. They say the level of radiation may have exceeded the government safety standard. But the officials say there is no way the water could have reached the sea because there are no drainage ditches nearby. The Japanese government is planning to ease visa requirements for foreigners owning a certain level of assets, allowing them to stay in Japan for up to a year. The move is aimed at attracting wealthy foreign tourists and real estate investors. Tourism has long been promoted as part of the government's growth strategy. The new measure will likely extend the maximum period of stay for foreign visitors who meet certain conditions from 90 days to one year. Australia allows people aged 55 and older to stay for four years if they fulfill requirements, such as having assets totaling more than 667,000 U.S. dollars. People 66 or older can stay in New Zealand for two years under certain conditions, including having more than $390,000 in assets. Government officials say they're planning to set new requirements such as age, assets and annual income by the middle of next year. The operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant says water levels have dropped sharply in two areas at the crippled facility. This comes after officials discovered leaks over the weekend at four other locations at the plant. Tokyo Electric Power Company says workers discovered lower water levels inside two barriers surrounding storage tanks on Tuesday. Workers last carried out a check four days earlier. TEPCO officials say the water, water level inside one barrier has dropped 11 centimeters since Friday and 7 centimeters inside the other. They estimate that comes to about 225 tons of water. But the officials say there's nothing to suggest that the water leaked into the surrounding ground and they haven't noticed any changes in levels in the tanks. The officials say the water inside the barriers contains up to 440 becquerels per liter of radioactive strontium. That's 44 times the government limit. TEPCO officials plan to drain the area inside the barriers and find out what caused the levels to fall. They suspect the water may have seeped into the soil. IU sweetfish have made a comeback in northeastern Japan's Iwate Prefecture. The March 11 tsunami severely damaged the local IU fishery. The fish were raised in a hatchery in the city of Ofunato. The tsunami washed away much of the hatchery, but it resumed operations in September. About 300,000 sweetfish fry were moved on Tuesday from a large tank in the hatchery to a truck. The truck took the three-month-old fish to the inland city of Ninohe. Production is still on a trial basis, so shipments from the hatchery are expected to be between a third and a half the level before the disaster. We will keep up efforts to restore shipments to pre-disaster levels. The sweet fish fry will be kept in Ninohe until May when they'll be released into a nearby river. Engineers at Japan's crippled nuclear plant think they know how hundreds of tons of radioactive water leaked into the ground. They say plastic filler in barriers around tanks on the Fukushima Daiichi site probably deteriorated. Workers from Tokyo Electric Power Company noticed on Tuesday that water had leaked past two concrete barriers. They say 225 tons got out. The water inside the barriers contained radioactive strontium at 44 times the concentration the government says is safe. The workers drained out that water and found the concrete free of cracks. They covered the joints with new plastic filler. Then, no water got out. The workers concluded the leaks had happened because the filler had deteriorated. Company representatives say they'll apply new filler to all the other barriers at the plant and step up their inspections.
Decontamination workers have spent the last few months trying to clean up some of the most contaminated areas of Fukushima Prefecture. And a government survey suggests they're getting the results. Radiation levels have dropped by more than half. The Environment Ministry ordered trial work in towns designated as unsuitable for living. Radiation levels were more than 50 millisieverts per year. Officials considered most of Namie and Futaba too contaminated for a fast solution, so they had not begun full-scale decontamination work there. Tests after the trial show the average radiation levels in parts of Namie town ranged from 3.51 to 6.56 microsieverts per hour. That's less than half the figure before the decontamination work. The radiation levels at a former kindergarten in Futaba fell by nearly 70%. Government officials say the radiation still exceeds safety standards, but the levels in some parts satisfy the criteria for easing the evacuation zone restrictions. Storing radioactive waste from decontaminated areas near the Fukushima power plant is proving difficult. Local officials are reluctant to store it in their town. Japan's Environment Ministry will drop a plan by next summer to move the waste to intermediate sites. Waste generated by decontamination work has been stored in about 460 temporary sites around the plant. Officials plan to build intermediate facilities in three towns near the plant. The facilities are designed to store contaminated soil and other waste until a decision is made on the final disposal sites. Earlier this month, officials asked communities to host the facilities. Experts are calling for more transparency to win the public's understanding. They'll discuss how to transport the waste, protect residents from exposure, and avoid traffic congestion. We have to complete the transport within a few years. Otherwise, it will be a barrier for reconstruction. Environment Ministry officials estimate that up to 28 million cubic meters of contaminated waste needs to be moved. Tens of thousands of people have had to stay away from their homes near the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant for nearly three years. But some of them have been allowed to spend their Christmas and New Year holidays in areas where radiation levels are relatively low. Government officials say people from six municipalities in evacuation zones near the plant can stay at their homes until January 7th. Residents are usually only allowed to visit during the daytime. Yoshiyuki Sugi and his wife return home with holiday decorations. The couple currently live in temporary accommodation. They visit their home once a week, but this is the first time they have spent the night at their house since the disaster in March 2011. I'm really happy to be home, but I wish we could return for good soon. But Sugi says he's worried about radiation as the decontamination work around his home has not been completed. Environment officials say about 1,700 people have sought permission to make the temporary visits. But in the area where the Sugi family used to live, less than 10% of the residents are returning for the holidays. Executives at Japanese firm Toshiba have their sights set firmly on Britain's nuclear energy industry. They've inked a deal to help build a power plant in northwest England. The executives agreed to buy a 50% stake in British consortium New Generation from Spanish utility Iberdrola. The deal is worth 85 million pounds. That's about 139 million dollars. New Generation plans to construct a 3.6 gigawatt nuclear plant in Sellafield on the coast of the Irish Sea. Toshiba wants to expand its nuclear business overseas due to uncertainty in the domestic industry. Rival Japanese firm Hitachi last year acquired a utility that plans to build up to six nuclear reactors in Britain.